Another delicious recipe brought to you by Salati Sugar. Always good, always sweet. Welcome back to Expresso here on SABC3 on your Feel Good Thursday morning in the kitchen with the lovely Sam Linzel this morning. We made you breakfast, now we're going to make you dessert. And oh, it's a dessert of champions, a, a delicious tort using sweet plums. Sam, very nice to have you in studio. Thank now, you. I've asked you before the break, tort and tart, what's the difference quickly? Well, a tort is really a cake and a tart is something that's made out of pastry. Oh, okay. Easy as that. Yeah, pretty much so. <laughs> I mean, this, in this case, it's a one-layered cake. Yeah. I mean, torts can be actually uh, multi-layered multi with lots of different fillings and things like that. And this is a really special cake and it's actually one of the easiest cakes to make. Okay. It's also what I perceive to be one of the most perfect cakes. Mm. Um, been, you know, seen on the internet widely and I've made it twice um, in the last Last couple of months yeah and because plums are in season so it's absolutely perfect for right now so well now you're gonna make it a third time yeah. so here we go how do okay. we do this so firstly you you want to add your um, butter to your mixer okay and you start creaming that right. um, and then immediately add your sugar all right so what are we using there it's the it's a lot it's plantation we're using, we're using a golden brown sugar all right so I'm kind of like like educating myself on the different sugars out there. So yes. this is a slightly unrefined sugar, like yeah. adds a little bit of sweetness while changing the flavor. Well, the no, place. actually the, the browner the sugar, the, the more caramel flavor it adds. Oh, really? Okay. And in this case, it's a light brown sugar, so it'll add just a subtle caramel oh, okay. flavor. No, okay, but all right. It's very, very nice. So once you've got your, your butter and sugar creamed, you, you want to add your two eggs to the mix. All right, there we go. There we go. And just incorporate okay. that all together. Um, the next thing you want to do is take your flour, um, you normally sift this, your baking powder, and a pinch of salt. Pinch of salt, okay. And you just, you just incorporate that. Perfect. Now you've got quite a runny batter over there. Alright, so this is what That's you want. Fine. You want that runny batter. Don't yeah, freak you do. out when you see that. Not a problem. Okay. You sort of want it on a medium speed. And then you just slowly add your flour. Okay, and that will mix through very nicely. We are making a delicious dessert. It is a tort using sweet plums that are in season at the moment. You can make this recipe or get the recipe for yourself if you SMS the keyword Salati to 33728. That's Salati to 33728. We'll send you a full shopping list. Also add a link to the recipe. Just keep in mind those SMSs cost one rand fifty. Okay, okay, so now you've done that, you don't need to mix too long. That's the beauty of this recipe. Okay. Um, you can even do it, just mix the last little bit by hand. Just quickly get all the ingredients there. Just make sure you scrape down the bowl. <laughs> That's it. And then Can't you leave anything behind. Then you tip it into your pan. Like so. Okay. It's very simple. Um, then we just need to spread that batter out a bit. To okay, ensure so, that so it's we've evenly. got one layer here, but you can actually put another layer if you really um, want. You, okay. I don't think so because what happens here is the plums kind of get sucked into the cake. And um, okay. they make sort of pools of this gorgeous jam-like texture oh, on the inside. Yeah, when we cut it just so now, we're going to be able to see. So the thing is not to actually, um, you know, to worry about yeah, doing yeah. layers, because otherwise it might become too rich. <laughs> um, this cake's actually wonderful to serve as a dessert or, you know, as a tea time thing. So once you've spread that all out, okay. um, you take your plums, which you've halved, right. um, and these are lovely and juicy. The most important thing is to test that the plums, how ripe they are. Okay. Um, because you sometimes get plums, as you know, that are a little bit sour. Yes, exactly. Um, and that's quite important. Um, I like to use very, very ripe plums, but if, if they're a little bit sour, you just need to add a little bit more sugar all on the right. top. Well, so now we just um, pop them all in. Um, you spread them and you kind of just press lightly down. It actually surprisingly takes a hell of a lot of plums. <laughs> yeah, um, you want to cover the entire surface with the plums. The more plums, the better. The yeah, gonna be exactly. Another. It kind of, as I said, absorbs into the cake and makes these yes. jammy pools. And once you've covered the surface like that, you're ready to go. Oh. Um, and then what's really nice to add, just a squeeze, approximately oh, wow. two, two teaspoons of um, lemon juice. Yeah. It just gives it a lovely little acidic taste. It kind of also just helps with the cake batter fluffing up. Um, and a little bit of, of cinnamon. Cinnamon and plums are beautiful together. And you're also creating a little topping. That's it, and like you Remember, say, everything just like gets like. absorbed. That's yes. it. That's now, it. because you know, we, I quite like a little bit of texture on the top of the, of the tort, I add about approximately a tablespoon of sugar just All to right. sprinkle over the top. If the plums are slightly underripe, then you just add a little bit more sugar. Okay, that'll compensate for the sweetness. And that's then. pretty much it. Easy as that, and it goes just into like the that. oven? Into oh. the oven, 180 degrees C for about 20, 20 minutes. Love go. It. Very, very cool. Right. Sam, thank you so much. The keyword, once again, is uh, Salati to 33728 mm. if you want to get your hands on the recipe. But uh, here's one last look at how we make up. Okay, sorry, there's no recap, unfortunately. My fault. But I mean, you put it in the oven for? 
about 25 minutes. About 25 yeah. minutes, and then we're all good. good. And you spoil yeah. your loved ones. This is well. really how it comes out. As you can see, the plums have kind of disappeared. Yeah. What's, what's lovely to do here is to do a little bit of a decoration with a bit of icing sugar over the top. There we go. Like you, would you mind cutting it open so yes, we can see? Yes, now we can see what it looks like on the inside. That'd be lovely. Um, oh. Let's put it onto the plate. All right, let's As you can see how it looks oh, on the inside. Look at that, like you said, that there we go. plums turn to jam. And then you whip up a little bit of cream into soft peaks and serve that on top of the mm. tort, just like that. Okay. Dessert of champions. Sam, there we go. thank you very, very much. I'm going to tuck into this one, guys. For some breakfast. Look at this. Just look at this. <laughs> <laughs>